in today's video, we're going to be breaking down how you can absolutely torch the cover two defense uh, from the New England Patriots offensive playbook. What's up, guys? My name is Cody, and I just want to thank you for taking the time to watch my video today. If you've never been to my channel before, my channel posts Madden 21 tips and tricks videos. We basically try to help people uh, get better at this game. And one of the ways you do that is through tips and tricks just like this. We also live stream. Um, I also have a Discord. I have a text message membership, which is really cool, where we release text message high-level tips to everybody um, every single week. Um, in the last couple weeks, we've covered a big nickel over G run defense. We've covered a defense for trips tight end. We've covered gun uh, a full guide to gun cluster and a full guide to um, – to the Minnesota Vikings playbook. So if you are encouraged by that, maybe you want to pick up those text message videos, all you have to do is just shoot me a text. My number is 812-216-3644. All right, guys, so I wanted to talk about um, cover two. I've been getting, I think cover two, might you might see a big shift, at least in the competitive world. Uh, I think a lot of people are shifting towards um, cover two, cover three invert. Those are the two primary coverages that I see out of zone. Um, most of the time they're mabled, um, and I just wanted to share with this, share you, share this video with you. This is from the Y off tri trips formation, and the play we're going to be looking at is halfback sluggo. It's primarily for this uh, little streak on the in the middle of the field, um, but I'm just going to come out and run uh, dime one four six Tampa two on it, and you would you really want to be on the other hash. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to respot it. Um, you can run it to that short side of the field, but I think it works best if you're on the right hash. just gives you a little bit more space. Um, but basically, all you're going to do with this is you're going to take your running back. You're going to put him on a shoot flat route if you have an HB. Most of you are using backfield master and mutt. If you're not using backfield master and mutt, you could just put him on a block and release. You could put him on a flat, just something so that he goes to the left. It doesn't, it doesn't really matter, um, honestly. And then the left side guy, again, if you have like a slot apprentice there, you could put him on a post route. Otherwise, just put him on a, a deep vertical. You know, I think the vertical is fine. And then with the tight end, you're going to put him on a drag. And then with Mike Evans, what I like to do um, is basically uh, I could put him on some type of in-breaking pattern, whether it be a smart routed in route, whether it be a slant, whether it be a post. Um, it's, it's kind of up to you. Uh, you can do a lot with this, especially if you have like a hot route master or if you just have, you know, some kind of route apprentice uh, out on that side of the field. So um, another thing you could do with this, and this is something I'm actually really liking lately, is to put the tight end on a curl route and put Mike Evans on a drag route. Um, what will happen is you'll basically create a natural high-low read. Um, but if you want to, you can block the running. Like I said, there's just so much you can do with this. So uh, what we're going to do is we're going to shoot flat, the, shoot flat the running back. Uh, most people have tight end apprentice, so we'll put him on a corner route or a post route. One of those two routes, just to occupy the user. The user is going to hang over there uh, more than likely. And then with Mike Evans, uh, I'm going to put him on just a basic in route, uh, nothing too crazy. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to motion Scotty Miller over here to the left. And at the snap of the ball, you're going to see I'm going to let him get past the street. And at the snap of the ball, what you're going to see is this thing's going to torch cover two. As you can see right there, um, it's going to torch cover two almost for a one-place touchdown pretty consistently. Um, the, way that, the way that this works, in my opinion, at least in, from what I've seen, this has been a popular cover two beater for years. Um, but really all you need are these, these three key little routes. I don't even think you need the streak on the left, but I like to use it. Um, as you can see right there, he's able to just get up and work it. Now, I do want to show you really quick. I'm going to back off my uh, cloud flaps back to their default setting because um, that's what uh, I did have. Them. I was doing uh, something else, and I had them on a little bit of a, a, a lower setting. So what we'll do is we'll come out and dime 146, Tampa 2. And like I said, this is from the Y off trips uh, formation. Uh, in the New England Patriots playbook and what you'll see here uh, you're looking for that little inverted streak from the slot that you can motion over um, so we can find it here maybe halfback sluggo yes now you don't have to have that specific streak um, you can actually do it from a lot of different things so like right here I'll show you we'll just take Goodwin and put him on a on a streak um, 
and then we'll take Scotty Miller, get him out here, put him on a streak, and what you'll see is he'll still beat it once he gets to the sideline. As you see there, it's a, it's a tight window, a little bit of a tighter window on that, but he will beat the zone. And then just for fun, I just want to show you, um, let's just move, and you'll see what happens when we try to move everything to the left. Um, get him out here, right about there, snap, and you see you're still able to hit him over the top, even with the routes going to the left side. So it's really just more of a, you know, that, that specific streak uh, does really good. Now, the best way to do this, I think, is to have a slot apprentice or a hot route master quarterback. Um, and, because, and the reason is because you want to have that post route on the left. If you can have that post route on the left at all times, um, it's really going to make their user have to go defend that. There I threw it a little bit too, too far to the middle. You do want a hard left pass lead this away from the zone. And that is why you want to typically run this to the wide side of the field. So this is basically the route combo on the right. On the left side, you can run a simple route combo where you do a curl drag or, like I said, something like that. Maybe even just a curl flat. I found curl flat combos um, are very, very effective. And for some reason here, I'm just throwing it to the defense. But, like, like if I did something like just something like this right here. I found this to be one of the most effective route combos in Madden 21 um, and just reading the flats. But what you'll see here, right when he gets over, right there, just passing him to the left. And as you can see, he's going to beat it uh, over the top for a one play touchdown. Now, if you don't want to use, let's say you don't want to use this specific play, um, you can use the play tight end deep out. You see Mike Evans is on this little fade, fade right here. Now, if you motion him over, um, I'm pretty sure he will still beat the cover two. It's just look at the angle, see how he's going toward the safety as opposed to away from the safety. And what you'll see here is, I mean, he kind of, you know, it's just not a good look. You really want him fading to the outside. But what you could do if you ran the play tight end deep out is you could just fade Mike Evans and you could mix this up with some of your other motion snaps. But I have found that fading uh, works just fine. Get him out here, fade him. Um, he's not going to get chucked because he's in motion. And then you can basically pass lead him away from the safeties. But as you saw, it's not as effective and not as uh, consistent as this route to the slot receiver. Because when he gets over here, you're just going to see he's just going to cook. Pass lead that to the left. Click on. And then if you're on the sideline, just go ahead and possession catch it. And again, that's why you want to run this to the wide side of the field. Uh, real quick, I do want to show you what happens when you drop your curl flat or your, your flat zones back. Uh, most people don't really mess with their uh, with their flat zones too much. They normally use them as like hard flats. But if someone were to put those back to 25 yards, just kind of thinking that they would maybe shift their defense and play more Tampa 2, but the Tampa 2 clouds would come back on that. Let me just show you what happens from this specific play, just so you can see. And to be honest, it might stop it uh, or might at least delay it a little bit. But again, it's the halfback sluggo. And we'll do that simple route combination on that left side. Get him all the way over here, snap of the ball. And you'll see the curl flat or the cloud flat's gonna drop a lot farther back, but you're still able to hit it on a on a possession window. And that's personally why, like for me, what I like to do is I like to take that slot and like I said, either put him on a post, but that's also why I think the streak is kind of significant. Because what the streak will do is it'll basically you know, force him to choose. And you see, you'll see the window is created deeper down the field. We'll show you, sorry, I got sacked there. Um, but we'll show you right here. The window is gonna get opened up um, because of that streak. Uh, just to make it, it makes it just a little bit of a cleaner window in my opinion. But pass, leave that to the left, click on, and there you go. Uh, cover two beater in Madden 21. And you know, that's cut, that's, that's cover two at 20, um, a 25 yard cloud flats which are pretty deep um, and the cool part about it is and you can snap him like right in here if you wanted to and you'll see how he see how he continues to fade to the sideline that's really what you're looking for you're looking it's, it's kind of like the play fade smash or slot fade or you know some of those plays you've probably seen in your playbook but this is just kind of creating that same element from uh, one of the most popular or one of the about to be probably most popular offenses in Madden 21 the u-trips and you see if you don't if you if you're if you snap him in the slot like if, you, if they have like a Devin McCourty or they have like a really really good zone player which if you're playing what they probably do they probably have somebody out there with really really good zones 
and get him all the way out here to the sideline. And once he gets over that um, player, it's just a nice little pop um, right on that edge. But again, depending on if they're you know if their if their curl flats are you know at a significant depth like that, uh, or I'm sorry, their cloud flats are at a significant depth like that, you know that's going to um, definitely affect things a little bit for you because you see you just can't make that throw. Um, you have to wait for him to clear, and because you have to wait for him to clear, uh, the safety is going to be given a chance to get over there. But what you also have to remember is by streaking the slot receiver, and this is why I like to streak him, um, you can actually pass through this to the inside as well because more than likely what they're going to do is they're going to not, they're not going to think to use or up a streak. Most of the time people are going to let their zones defend that streak. And so if you run this, again, you get this little motion snap right here. And what you're going to find is I can in, inside pass lead this if I have enough time in the pocket. Unfortunately, I'm getting through in a sec. I'm going to back the dogs off here just to show you the route combo um, real quick. But I'm just going to think I'm just going to back off the, uh, the blitz. Um, most of the time, if they're running camp of two with 25-yard clouds, and obviously you can hit the flat, you know. But what I want to show you is you step up. And then you can actually, you can kind of aggressive catch that if you want to, if you pass it that inside. A lot of times people will actually, interestingly enough, uh, if they're facing something like this, they'll deep quarter, uh, they'll inside quarter their safety on the left. That's why this comes in. It makes them just kind of have that integrity of, oh, nope, you got to have that, you got to have something over there. And as you can see, even if you have a deep, even have a deep half and a cloud flat, you're still going to get, you know, still going to get worked. So that's what I think makes this such a powerful formation is you really force them to play uh, disciplined football on both sides of the field, um, as you can see right there. So anyways, guys, that's how you beat cover two from the U trips or Y off trips. Um, another thing I did want to show you really quickly, I think it's the Pat slot out. Yep. Pat slot out. You can use this as well. Um, and basically what you'll do, what I would do with this is I would take, you know, this corner route and you can just bring him over and you'll see that this route's a good one. Pass lead that to the left. You see he's going to have a shot, but the major issue with it is that deep half zone, um, oftentimes will take, will take him for whatever reason. I think it's because he's the up receiver, uh, in it. But we'll show you here one more time. If I were to take, you know, Miller and just put him on a simple streak, snap right in here. And he still goes with him. Okay. Well, that's something for another day. But anyways, guys, that's how you beat cover two from New England's playbook. Uh, gun Y off trips. I think it's about to be one of the best formations in Madden 21. Um, we saw how effective Dee Crop was with it against Young Kim. It's a very simple offense. But I think it just forces you to play discipline on both. And then the Patriots is just loaded. You have U trips, you have trip side in, you have A slot, you have split close. You even have some gun bunch and some gun compression sets that you can use. So uh, just a lot of good stuff on the way from the New England Patriots playbook. I want to thank you guys for your time. And if you want to catch the rest of the videos, make sure you're subscribed. If you haven't already, jump in the Discord. I'd highly encourage you to do that. Our Discord is full of people that are talking Madden 24-7 getting better each day and if you want to get better one of the best ways to do that is surround yourself with people who are also trying to get better at this game thank you guys for your time and i hope you enjoyed the video we've got more coming today and we will be live streaming tonight at 10 o'clock p.m eastern time